Right now, we're back at the SIAC Football and Media Day and Luncheon, and uh, I'm Doug Stewart, and talking to head coach of Clark Atlanta, Kevin Weston. You're coming into your second year at the program, three and seven last year, tough year. Um, Mindset-wise, what, what have you and your staff talked about on how you're going to get this thing turned around? Uh, the biggest thing we talked about is working on being consistent. You know, uh, we had some good things we did last year. Uh, we just didn't do them enough. Uh, we, we worked on in the offseason making sure we changed the tempo in which we played uh, the game on Saturdays. Uh, we, we played a lot of guys on Saturdays that played Saturday football, me and college football, for the first time uh, in their career. So what we did in the offseason is we went to improve the tempo, and then we talked about being consistent, meaning that you know we want to make sure if we do something right, we, we find a pattern and a way to continue to do the same thing over and over. And talking to people in college football, whenever Clark Atlanta comes up, talking about HBCU football, Whenever Clark Atlanta comes up, it always seems like Clark is kind of like a sleeping giant. It's right there in Atlanta. You have great talent in the state of Georgia. Uh, what's been your, your, I guess your, your attack plan on trying to get better players to come play for the Panthers? Uh, the biggest thing, we, we took the approach of taking pride in the fact that we are in Atlanta. There's great high school football in Atlanta. So what we decided to do in the recruiting game is uh, take care of our backyard before we went anywhere else. You know, we, we made a statement coming in. We're going to put the Atlanta back in the Clark Atlanta. So uh, we attack everything in the Atlanta area before we go anywhere else to try to get those guys with the talented right there in our backyard to come play for us and have a little bit of pride in Clark Atlanta. Uh, great uh, history and tradition from your for the school you came from, Tusculum. Uh, talk about some of the things that you learned uh, coming from there to a program that's trying to get to that level of consistency as far as winning. I worked for a great guy, Frankie DeBus, there uh, for, for several years and just experiences of being a head strength coach, being a defensive coordinator and also a head assistant head coach and also coaching the running backs. I think uh, all those different jobs gave me the ability to be able to come in and have a, a broader uh, thought process on how I want to build a program because of my experiences. You actually were a very great, uh, good player, established player in your college uh, football playing days. Uh, so would you call yourself a player's coach or, or what, would you, what would you call yourself as far as if players thought about you? I'd like to say that I'm a do-it-right coach. I, I wouldn't say I was a player's coach. I'd say I'm a do-it-right coach. I'm a guy that's going to take young men and try to make them do right and become young men and so they can further on going to help society and help us win some football games on, on the way. Do you ever, uh, you know, watch your guys out there and you're the head coach now, do you ever harking back to when you played and kind of relate some of your experiences to what you're trying to get across to your team? Definitely. Uh, you know, I always go back in my mind and look at it as, uh, you know, some of the things that my coaches were, were trying to teach me, um, you know, some of the things that I didn't understand at the time, what would have helped me get the message better. So I try to relate back to it and decide on, you know, this is a good way to deliver the message versus another way to deliver the message. All right, tactical. Um, Clark, three and seven last year, as we mentioned. Uh, what are you looking forward to this year? Give us an aspect of uh, your offense that you think is going to make a step forward this year and really shine. We, you know, in the off season, we put a lot of uh, effort into making sure we're a lot better on the offensive line for the offensive side of football. We put a lot, uh, lot of stake into making sure that we're taking care of the football. And last year's uh, team, we didn't take care of the football a whole lot as far as running backs carrying the football, and we didn't do a good job up front. Uh, this year also, we're gonna add a little twist and add a little bit more quarterback play, whether he's running or throw it to the offense, so he's a little bit more twist. Okay, how about your defense? Uh, Defensive-wise, uh, we want to make sure we're stronger and, and bigger up front. Uh, in recruiting, we went out and got some really, really talented guys to come in and help us on the defensive front. Our linebacker group is uh, bringing some guys back that have had some experience, and the secondary is the same deal. Okay, okay, well coach, uh, uh, the main thing is winning games, and uh, what's the mindset of your players really from an off-season aspect? You think they're ready to play? You think they're maybe ready to turn that corner and make that progression? I think they've been working uh, very hard from uh, the end of last season until now. I think that there's a few more weeks left out there before we snap the first uh, ball in the first ball game, and I think that we've made huge jumps. I think we need to take care of the uh, little bit of time we got left between now and the first ball game and continue to make those drives and I think we'll be ready game one versus Central State. Head coach Kevin Weston, head coach of the Clark Atlanta Panthers. Coach, thank you and good luck to you this year. Thank you for having me. There he is.